I have never been highly ranked in anything in old school runescape, but in this video, that changes. When Desert Treasure 2 came out, I completed the quest on the first day and then went to bed after posting my last video. However, on the second day, I came to the conclusion that even though I am now slightly behind, I want to try and reach the front page on one of the new bosses. I ended up going with the Whisperer as my boss of choice and this is how I did it. Luckily, I have pretty much best in slot for the Whisperer, absolute max mage with a tumic and shadow, there is only really the magic ring upgrade I can make and potentially special attack weapons. The first kill of the video coming in, this gear is absolutely insane by the way, 70 battle staves, that seemed like one of the better drops you can get, 3 minutes 20 can definitely be improved on. Hey, 58 rubies, 2 kill trips so far, I can maybe even try for a third. Oh my god, 2 minutes and 47 seconds, the improvements are so incredibly rapid. And I barely used supplies for that one as well, I think I can bring way more restores. That is 10 KC, and I cannot believe we have not been spooned yet with a unique. Oh, she! We got the first unique on 18 KC. That is actually a really good item to get as well. It's the teleport right here to the boss. It's untradeable, of course. It's going right into my ring. Let's try it out. Every single boss that you can kill in this quest has one of these, so let's add it to the ring. One out of four unlocked, and let's try it out. Where does this teleport me? The Lazar Underground. And it's by the rope. Not super close, but way better than I had before. Oh, look at that. We got a Chromium Ingot. I think you need three of these to actually make the ring and the vestige as well, so I don't think these are terribly rare. They're not that expensive. After this one, we're hitting the first bigger milestone, I would say, 50kc for a pretty underwhelming drop. I've also had a 2 minute 35 second kill as the fastest, so the kills are actually going pretty quickly in general, like 3 minutes on average, and the faster one's 2.5. Oh, we got the staff piece! This is untradeable, it is, uh, only, I only need one of them, I guess I can get more of them, which is nice, but you need 4, one from each boss to make the new Soul Reaper Axe. This is how my log looks after 62 kill counts. I'm not going to go to the other bosses and get the axe pieces because I just want to grind the Whisperer out. Of course, we have not seen any Virtus items. The Bellator's Vestige is the ring piece. The Shadow Quartz is the upgrade for the Ancient Scepter. And this, of course, the Wisp is the pet. So we're looking for all of these I haven't got yet. You know, I really appreciate that the boss has absolutely no ship damage. The only time you do take damage is if you screw something up. And that means, now that I've got a bit better at the boss, I can bring so many more restores. I can basically only run restores and stay here for way longer. So, it's a very rewarding boss to actually get good at. You know what? I was thinking about getting a special attack weapon because I'm not using any right now. And I think I have one that might be good. Meet the Accursed Scepter special attack. It lowers the target's magic and the defense level by up to 15%, and it only requires 50% charge, so I should be able to use this pretty much every kill. Yeah, I think this inventory looks pretty good. One Manta Ray should be enough. You know what? For my setup, I am not very sold on this Scepter because I've done 5 kills now, and they have all been pretty much the same as before. I think it's because my Tumic and Shadow is already so ridiculously accurate, that it doesn't really matter for me reducing the defense, but if you're going with a Sanguinesti or like a Trident, it might be worth it. Oh, nice to get that out of the way. Shadow Quartz, this is the upgrade to the Ancient Scepter on 77kc. I have seen some videos of other people getting this quite easily, so it's probably not all too rare. Oh, yo, let's go. The first Awakener's Orb. This item is actually used in the future for the hard mode versions of these bosses to unlock some cosmetics. I don't think it's worth all too much, but probably around 2 million. Anyways, let's attach the Shadow Quartz to the Ancient Scepter. It says it cannot be undone. That is fine though, I have so many of these Ancient Scepters in my bank. And there it is, the Shadow Ancient Scepter. Looks pretty good. Uh, there's no stats on it for Runelight just yet, but yeah, looks pretty good. We have gone and done it, this is 100kc on the Whisperer, and I've been doing this the entire day. Now, my kills were really slow to begin with, and then they've sped up over time, but I have to go to bed, I've been doing this for 8 hours now. 
And as a bit of a recap, we are now ranked 263 on the boss, but we started kind of late today and also I had to learn the boss, so the kills from now on should be way faster. And tomorrow I'll probably wake up at like rank 400. Good morning guys, it is worse than I thought. I woke up today and looked at high scores right away. I am now rank 522. So let's get into it. Oh my, 700 monkfish noted in one single drop? That's like the Iron Man's dream drop I can imagine. Oh yes, I was waiting for this drop. I knew this could drop because I've seen other people get this. Seven dragon plate skirts in one drop. You thought Muspa was crazy with three of them? Yeah, here's seven. Well, in 30 minutes we have a system update and that is going to be 12.30 p.m. And I'm already at 140 KC. Now I do also have another thing I want to try out before the system update. And that is buying a Venator bow and use on the ghost phase. Because maybe you can kill all of them with it. So there are three types of ghosts. The yellow, blue and green ones. I've only been killing the yellow ones which prevents healing on the boss and heals me instead. But if you kill the green and the blue ones you also get prayer back and also deals 50 damage to the boss. Now, when it comes to using the Venator bow on these adds, on the ones that are stacked three kind of close together, you can see I'm killing all of them at the same time, but unfortunately on the ones that are lined up three in a row, I cannot. I have actually finally figured out how to do the ghost phase completely flawless every single time. The trick to it is that on these three stacked you shoot the middle one, but on these lined up ones you have to shoot the bottom one or the end of the line one. If you do this you're going to be killing all of them with the Venator bow every single time. And when you do this you see I did 75 damage to the boss, so the damage is amplified and the healing you get and the prayer gain you get back is all amplified if you kill all of them, so that's really nice. Hey, nice. We have a second Chromium ingot coming in. The price on these are actually pretty accurate. On the GE tracker, they are 1.4 million. Getting 75 extra damage every single kill is going to speed up my kills quite a bit. So you could see I already on that one almost got my personal best. So let's see how far down we can actually get this during the video. Another one of these. Oh, wait. Oh my god. It, look at the GE price. 3.93 million GP. Why is this going up so much in price? You can't even use them yet, but that's pretty nice, I guess. Okay, that might be the fastest I'll get in this entire video. There's no way I'm getting below 2 minutes ever, but 225 is good. We have now done the same amount of kills in one day as I did in the first day, meaning this is kill number 200 of the grind, and it's only 5 p.m., so I still have a lot of time to grind today. No! Oh, come on. I didn't even know you could get multiple of these. Uh, I guess maybe that was ignorant of me, but second Shadow Quartz. Of course, I've been keeping very close track of the high scores for this boss, and we have just hit 217 KC, and that is a pretty big milestone, because that officially means we are in the two-digit ranks. Look at that. Rank 99 alone some with 217 KC. Now, if you go up here all the way to, this is gonna look pretty scuffed because I've cropped it kind of weird. But if you go all the way to 25, we need 309 KC. So if I want that today, that's going to be kind of rough. I have a bit of a trick to share with you guys. It's nothing too massive and it does require quite a lot of knowledge of how the egg phase works. You can actually go into the shadow phase, look at the layout of the eggs, and I think there's like three different ones, and then right away just leave and walk in the correct pattern. If you get this down, you basically lose zero sanity and you actually gain sanity instead during this phase. So if you have sanity problems, do this method. It is now 9 p.m. and we are hitting 250 kc. And unfortunately in three hours I have to go off because we have guests over who want to sleep. And uh, while well, the goalpost is just moving all the time, it is now 320. So I am feeling a bit hopeless here. I feel like even if I go at the highest pace I can, I will still have to go to bed one more time. I wish I could pull an all-nighter, but unfortunately the one time I am going for ranks and every single hour matters is the only time of the year we have guests over and uh, that is just how it goes I guess. Hopefully the damage when I wake up tomorrow is not going to be too bad, but we still have three more hours to go today. Oh right, there is a scoreboard where you can see the fastest kill in the game so far. 
Let's see how far off I am at. 155. Jesus, 30 seconds faster. That must be like double Sarite crossbow spec and just crazy stuff. Oh, come on. This is not what I want to see at this point. I'm like 13 hours into the day. I'm completely toast. We have seen zero Virtus, by the way, and no ring. Well, the guests are on their way home. So that is going to be it for today. We did 183 kill counts. Wow, that was a grueling day, and tomorrow is probably going to be even worse. After just relogging, we are now rank 62 after day 2 with 283kc, and rank 25 is 338 at this current point. I am absolutely terrified that I wake up tomorrow and this one says 480 or something crazy like that, but I guess we'll see in the next clip. Good day, good morning to everyone. I just woke up. I woke up super early, 7 in the morning, just to get as much time as possible. We have the high scores here. Let's slowly scroll to the side and see what the damage is. I am so nervous. 338 last night, 402. Okay, it could have been worse. It could have been worse. That is an increase above about what? 65 KC, 70 KC. Yeah, let's get to it today. And we have the first milestone kill of the day, 300 KC. And I have to say, I am very nervous for today because it is Saturday. It's the weekend. A lot of people are going to be on. Yep, people are definitely playing very actively today. I can see the high scores already moving up quite a bit. But that is now 350 KC. I have been going with a no breaks, just full gas. Okay, another Awakener's Orb. I have seen a lot of these by now. I don't even know how many. Kind of stopped keeping count of them. Uh, another one. Oh, no way. Okay, that's actually really cool. We now have two axe pieces from the same boss. Uh, it's not really too useful, but in the future I can make, I guess, two axes. I, I don't have to get this one twice. Well, I am going to be honest with you guys. We just hit 400 KC, and this is something I am never going to do again. This is absolutely miserable. I have been now going for roughly seven and a half hours just today, and uh, I am fairly close to the high scores, but it just keeps going up and up and up. And I am not even sure if I will be able to do it. Look at this. If we uh, can crop this a bit. Rank 25 is now 448. And uh, every time I get basically like 5 kills, the high scores goes up by 4 kills. So I am slightly faster, but that means I'm getting like, what, 4 kills an hour towards the high scores? Which means I still have to go for like 10 plus hours at this pace only today. I don't even know if that's going to be possible. And you know what the worst part is? I can't really take breaks. As soon as I take like a 30 minute break to make food or just anything like that, I lose pretty much hours of progress on the leaderboard. So this is why this is such a terrible grind to go for. You know, on top of that, I've also not got any of the Virtus pieces and the ring piece. I have, of course, got two of the axes, which is really, really lucky. Because from looking at other streamers and YouTubers, everyone's kind of seeming to struggle to get anything. Yay, hey, we are zooming. 425 KC and another Awakener's Orb. You know, of course, at this point, I would like to get a Virtus piece, maybe. At least just one of them, maybe. The ring piece, you know, something. All right, uh, we are about to do something absolutely terrifying. I just hit 452 KC and we have been going so fast i've took zero breaks for 10 hours today just because i want this so badly and why this is so terrifying is because if we do this one second i am going to take up the high scores again that is not refreshed for the past three hours so three hours ago i would have been rank 25 right now let's go ahead and refresh and see how bad the uh, difference is going to be. Let's refresh. And it is 460. Wait. That's actually not that bad. If I go really. Wait. I, I can actually do this. Rank 25 moved again to 471. Sometimes I'm wondering if it's my in real life sanity that's shown on the screen. Or my in game one. 
I think that's it. I think that's the last one I need. Soul runes 474. Let me relog. I'm going to refresh the page. Yes, let's put this on screen. We are now ranked. Oh, we did it. Oh my god. Rank 25 alone some. Oh my god. What a grind that was. I am so relieved we are done with that. We got uh, no Virtus pieces. We got um, no ring either. So let's hop into the game again and check out the loot. The rune light tracker did not work, so I had to do it all on my own. But 49.5 million GP. It would have been more than this. I would say around 60 million. But the soul rune and death runes, I could not really track properly as I was using them in my ancient spells as well as my tumic and shadow. But I would say, if we count those in, the loot is probably around 60 million GP. Of course, the axe pieces, two of them, is worth quite a lot as well, as the axe itself is worth around 3 billion GP as I'm making this video. But in terms of uniques, we also got 8 Awakener's Orbs and 3 Chromium Ingots, and at this KC, as I have not seen the ring yet, I probably have pretty good bad luck protection in how it works, and I should be due one pretty soon. Also, if you're curious, this is how my collection log looks. Pretty barren, but I would say the two Siren staff is definitely making up for that. Hopefully, I can get some of those Virtus pieces and the ring in the near future. But until next time, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. Quite a journey, I have to say. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.